Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video about the Dual Flip Sky 6.6. Today we're going to be unboxing and then comparing this to two Fox boxes and then talking a little bit about the performance. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at the vest itself. When you hold it in your hand, this thing feels really, really firm. It feels well built, it feels sturdy. This thing looks like it can handle anything. The thick wires just add to that feel and it's really nice, they included that male to male servo connector. Um, the programming cable that they include is a micro USB. It's pretty generic and standard. And then obviously the two sensor wires are a nice touch to run your vest in FOC sensor mode. Flipsky has done something incredible in bringing this device to the market. Dual vests are definitely the future of DIY eSkate, and you can purchase one for $250 from Flipsky, or you could go to a place such as eSkate Supply and purchase one for $220. Either way, it's excellent. And so, a little bit about dual vests is that it's two vests built onto one board, which eliminates the need for parallel connectors, CAN bus connectors, and this one doesn't need a mail to mail server connector, so you save a little bit of money there. Here are the current ratings given by Flipsky's website, and if these are true, this is insane and a complete game changer for the eSkate market. Now we are going to do a size comparison between the dual Flipsky 6.6 and two of Inertian's Fock boxes. Immediately, it's visible that the Flipsky 6.6 is quite a bit larger than the dual Fock boxes. When placed next to each other, they are not as long, and on top of them, you can see here, that it's just a little bit bigger on the Flip Sky 6.6. Um, in terms of their height, they're pretty similar. The Fock Box might be a little bit bigger, and the Flip Sky might have the advantage here. But when we compare this with a Torque Boards vest, for example, it's actually pretty similar in size when you put them on its side. Um, the Fock Box, however, will remain the more compact option. One thing I was really unsure about when I got the vest was how I would programming, and Flipsky has a really great video on how to do it. It's identical to how you would program two separate vests. There's two separate micro USB ports, and you just program each side of the vest individually, just as you would with two separate vests. We are currently using this vest in our latest build, which is an absolute monster, using a 12S3P Samsung 30Q pack and dual 6374 motors. We'll have a build video coming out on that soon, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.